First up, I would like to welcome to the stage uh, one of the founding organizers of the Transit Riders Union, who really enjoys Bus Route 48. Please welcome Katie Wilson. Thank you. Hey. Thank you, everyone, for coming today. Why are we all here today? We're here because our bus service is on the line. We're here because our transit system is being starved. We're here because we see and we feel injustice being done. Public transit, something that is so clearly good, not only for those of us who need it, but for everyone, for the economic health of our whole region, for the environment, and for the well-being of future generations, is being sacrificed to political maneuvering, to the short-term interests of a few. But we're not going to let them get away with it. We're going to hear from a number of different speakers today, and they're going to talk about how we got into this mess and what 17% service cuts really means for the people of this county. Some of this is going to sound a little bit overwhelming, a little bit dispiriting, even a little bit depressing. How could our state government be so irresponsible, so unresponsive to the needs of the people they're supposed to represent? And what can we really hope to do about it? We live in times when it's easy to lose hope. It's easy to be cynical. It's easy to despair. We live in times when the easiest thing, the safest thing, is to mainly worry about taking care of yourself and maybe a few other people in your life. Because really caring about the bigger picture, even caring about the people you mean walk, meet walking down the street, let alone the whole world, is a dangerous thing to do. It's dangerous because by most superficial measures, the future is not looking so good. So I want to begin today with a message of hope, because there is hope. There's hope right now in the short term, over the next six to nine months, for preventing these bus service cuts from happening. And even more importantly, there's hope in the long term, if we start now, for organizing, for fighting, and winning much bigger things. So I want to begin by addressing the question, what do we do next? Metro is preparing for service cuts because the state legislature, and specifically the state senate, refused to pass a transit funding option in the session that ended in June. Now, the governor, Governor Inslee, can, if he wants, call a new special session this fall. And if he does that, and if the Senate agrees to pass a funding option at that time, it may be possible to pass that option in King County in, in time to prevent service cuts. It won't be easy, but it's possible. So what do we have to do? First, we have to press Governor Inslee to call a special session as soon as possible this fall. And we have to press the Senate to pass a funding option for transit. We're here today to kick off a campaign to do just that. There were a few sen senators who were instrumental in blocking a transit funding option for going through, and foremost among them was Senator Rodney Tom, <laughs> who represents parts of King County on the east side. Now, no one is really very sure whether Senator Tom is a Republican or a Democrat. And he doesn't really seem to be sure about that himself, but whatever he is, we know that he's not acting in the best interests of his district or the county he's supposed to represent. He thought he could get away with this, but we're going to show him that his actions have consequences. So today we've come together to air our grievances. If you haven't already, we have a table over there with pieces of paper, and you can write your grievances, pin them up with clothespins on these lines. We're going to collect our grievances in this here grievance bus, and uh, we are going to deliver them to Senator Rodney Tom um, sometime in the next month or so. Um, specific delivery plans to be determined. Um, we're going to ask Rodney Tom to meet with us. We're going to do some organizing in his district on the east side. Um, we're going to come to him with a busload, we hope, of his constituents to ask him some tough questions. And if he doesn't want to meet with us, which we realize is a distinct possibility, um, we're going to make sure that his constituents and the media know about it, and we're going to make sure our grievance bus makes, it, makes its way to his house or his office anyway. Yeah. At the same time, we will be organizing riders throughout King County, especially along the routes and in the neighborhoods most threatened by service cuts. We'll be petitioning the governor to call a new special session, 
and when he does, we will be ready to take action in Olympia at the state capitol when the legislature is back in session. We're going to do something, exactly what is yet to be determined, to let our legislators know that they had better do right by the people of King County. Yeah. Now, this is an ambitious plan, and to pull it off, we're going to need to work together. If you haven't already, sign up over there at that table. Let us know how you want to be involved or ask us how you can get involved. Come to our next meeting on August 5th. Join the Transit Riders Union. Work with us to plan and execute this campaign. One, one final word. Are we going to win this campaign and stop these service cuts? Yeah. That's a good answer. I was going to say maybe. It's hard to say. <laughs> Absolutely, we're going to win, but this is more important. Even if we don't win this battle, this work of organizing is the most important thing we could be doing right now. What we're doing here, by building a democratic organization of ordinary people, and by building strong alliances with other groups, other people that are working toward different but related goals, is building up power. We're building up organized people power. People power, and that's the only force that can overcome the organized money power that right now has the upper hand in our society. This is a fight for our future, and it's a hard fight, but it's a fight we can win, and it's a fight we have to win. And I look forward to fighting, working, and winning together. Thank you.